Howdy folks, Tom here with Manny's again, and today we're shining a spotlight on guitar brand Cole Clark, who have been making instruments out of Melbourne since 2001. Cole Clark's whole thing is making high quality gigging instruments, but also having a strong focus on sustainable Australian native timbers. I've brought along three different guitars today, each utilising a different set of Australian tonewoods. This first one's pretty special. It's a Grand Auditorium Series 1, which features this gorgeous silky oak top, back and sides. This particular tree was sourced from Orong Park in Turak, which is only a few kilometers from where I'm sitting today. I might go there for lunch. Working with the local council, Cole Clark were able to salvage a huge 150 year old tree that was being removed. I've currently got this one set up in an open tuning, which was made famous by a guy called Nick Drake, which I feel really helps showcase the full voice of this guitar. So all three of the guitars I've brought in today feature the patented three-way pickup system, which is another widely loved point of difference in Cole Clark guitars. You can blend between three sources with the controls here, so you can really tailor the sound to your playing style. So these controls allow you to seamlessly blend your perfect balance between the bridge and the face uh, pickup sensors, um, and at any time, blend in the right amount of microphone sound, which really helps capture that acoustic tone when you're plugged in. So for example, if you'd like to get a bit more of a percussive thing going on, you might like to turn up the face control. to really showcase the acoustic qualities of the guitar, I've backed off on that face control, turned it a little bit more back towards the bridge sound, but also dialed up that microphone so we can really start to hear what the natural tonality of the guitar sounds like. So for this last sound, I've dialed out all of the face control and biased the pickup exclusively back to that under saddle piezo. Let's see what this sounds like. I'm really impressed by the full range of frequencies that you get out of this guitar. The Grand Auditorium size, despite its name, is actually a smaller body size, so to hear quite an expressive bass uh, and treble presence is pretty impressive, and it doesn't hurt that it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. Alrighty, next up, let's check out the Dreadnought FL2 series. This particular example is finished in gorgeous Australian blackwood, sourced from Victoria and Tasmania, and it's got blackwood on the top, the back, and the sides. As you can see, this is a particularly spectacular looking timber. You've got a beautiful sap line running down the top on this example, and the three piece back, which is also a hallmark of the two series and up. The really exciting thing about Blackwood is that it's actually quite closely related to Koa, which is the famous Hawaiian timber. 
um, that's used predominantly in ukulele building, but also in a lot of high-end acoustic guitars. Um, Koa is renowned for being a really nice halfway point tonally between mahogany and rosewood, while also being incredibly visually spectacular, um, which makes it a no-brainer for use in Australian acoustic guitars. Definitely a different voice to the uh, Grand Auditorium that we tried just before. A lot of that comes down to the fact that this Dreadnought has got the larger body size, um, but also the timber. Um, one of the real characteristics of Blackwood uh, and its, its sister wood, Koa, is that it has a really broad frequency range, a really nice tight low end um, in those bass frequencies, but then that really you know, piano-like sustain and clarity in the top end, which has made it a really popular choice for guitar builders. Okay, last up, we've got one more Grand Auditorium guitar. This one is also a two series, so a similar spec to the Dreadnought we looked at before with a couple of key differences. Notably, this one has a bunya top. Bunya is a very hardy tone wood out of Queensland, and it's quite similar in a lot of ways to spruce, which is the traditional top wood for a lot of steel string acoustic guitars. On the back and sides, again, we've got Australian blackwood and that lovely three piece back, which is visually very eye catching. <laughs> As you'd probably expect, while this guitar doesn't have quite the same bottom end presence as the Dreadnought, it still has a really articulate and dynamic voice. A lot of that comes down to the bunya top, which really does add that clarity, especially during some of those faster flat pick runs. Alrighty folks, well that's it for today. I hope this has given you a really good idea of what these three guitars are capable of, and also what Cole Clark is all about as a brand. 
On a personal note, I really love that Cole Clark have been driving the conversation around the use of sustainable timbers in guitar building. From the outset, their ethos is really embodied using Australian timbers. And with around two and a half million guitars produced each year worldwide, it's actually a really important conversation to have. The reality is that a lot of the traditional tone woods used in guitar building have become quite hard to source sustainably. So it's really cool to see that Cole Clark have taken that challenge head on and have looked for some really usable, sustainable alternatives. And the reality is, that's good for all of us. And lastly, Cole Clark hand selected some of the most visually spectacular pieces of timber to make each guitar. As you can imagine, there's quite a lot of variation guitar to guitar. Each one has its own unique look. So it's definitely worth popping into Manny's to see what we've got, have a play of the range, and find your next instrument. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you again next time.